I've always loved the intricacy and the fineness of jewellery. I make both collections of my own and one-off bespoke pieces, as well as commission-based work for both stores and private clients. Style-wise of my work, it's quite dark and ornate. I like dark subject matter with bones and skulls and feathers. They're so intricate and so lovely to physically carve out. They provide me with so much pleasure to work with. I usually work in wax. The first hour is normally just staring at this, this block and trying to work out. You're trying to visualise the piece that's in your head within that block somewhere. My inspiration comes on a day-to-day -day basis just from the people I see, the places I wander down, the little alleyways, the little kind of odd curiosities of East London that I love. Visually, there's so much going on that feeds your mind and your, your creativity. To go around and just snapshot all this stuff and keep a record of it, it's just it's brilliant. I love popping in somewhere and picking up a little intricacy that I can hang on the wall. I tend to fill my studio with just stuff, you know, that I like and will inspire me. I make commissions, they're one-off, they, they're gone forever, you know, half these things I'm never going to see again. So for me, it's really important to archive and document my work. So I tend to photograph everything as I go, from the first score on the wax through to the final piece when the stones have been set. Just having something compact on me the whole time, especially with a macro lens, to capture the, the definition of the piece that I've made means I can remember it forever. Yes.